This is the blanket stitch or buttonhole stitch. I'm going to do it first the way the directions say. Um, the difference between a blanket and buttonhole stitch is really just size and spacing. I'm going to come up, just draw a line. If I had a line, you don't have to have a line. I'm going to come up on the line to start. Move over just a little bit. Go down, come back up on the line, and make sure your thread is under the needle. And just pull it up tight enough that it's straight. And then I'm going to just, this is over basically on the line. We don't really have to worry about it laying there at this point. Go down however long I want the leg coming off of my blanket stitch. Come back up on the line and make sure the thread is looped under the needle. And just going to continue doing that all the way down. You're going to want to use your hand, your thumb on your other hand, on the hand you're not stitching with to hold that thread so that it's always under the needle. And I'm really not trying to get an angle here. It's more how I'm sitting stitching right now without it right in front of me. Um, once you are finished with your blanket stitch, we're just going to take a tack stitch down over the top of it. Now that's the way the direction said to work it. I actually find it more comfortable for me to work from left to right rather than the right to left. <clears throat> I think I'm faster that way. So again, I'm going to come up where the line would be if I had one. Go down. Thread's always underneath the needle. And the reason I think it's faster for me is that I'm not working into the finger that's holding onto the loop. I'm working away from it. So feel free to try it both ways and find which one is most comfortable for you. Um, the goal, if you're doing just a traditional blanket stitch, is to have your stitches even width-wise and, and the same length on the legs. Now that I said that's the goal if it's a traditional. I have some examples to show you. On this first one, you may not be able to see it that well, but I did use it to applique down the heart to the background. On the duck, I used a contrasting thread and stitched around him, and I actually had whip stitched him down first. And then on the sunflower, I wanted to show you, I did not worry about keeping it even. In fact, my goal was one long and one short when I stitched around this. Um, I also wanted a darker outline later, so I added another chain stitch around the outside edge of the hexagon. And this is a penny rug from a previous class I taught, and it's blanket stitch holding the pieces down, so I was appliquing with the blanket stitch. I have red and I have white, and then I used it along the outside edge to finish it off to stitch the last layer to the wrong side to cover up all my stitching. So there's some options with the blanket stitch.